Good morning and welcome to Millionaire Chef. Today I'm going to show you how to make a jumbo cranberry and raisin mixed with the sesame seed and pumpkin seed cake. Really easy, really quick. I'm going to keep the sound going. I'm not going to stop it when we put the machine on. It's going to be noisy, but I want to show you how quick it can actually be done. I'm hoping to get this done in probably about five minutes, basically. Maybe less, but uh, this shows you how quick you can actually do this. So, let's move on. So, first of all, what we're going to do is add our 500 grams of sugar straight into there. Now, I use this because this is absolutely fantastic. This is pure, dairy-free soya. It is brilliant for cakes. keeps them nice and moist and uh, obviously there's a lot less fat in there. So we're going to put the 500 grams of that, so that's basically a whole tub. In it goes. Then we're going to put the mixer down and turn on the high speed. It's going to be noisy, but don't worry about it, just wait. So while that's mixing around, what I've done, what you can do is, in here, I have my eight eggs. So 500 of pure soya, 500 sugar, grams that is, and eight eggs, okay? Keep your eggs as fresh as possible, that way it'll help with the rice, okay? So we'll let that mix around. Now believe it or not, it's, it's misting up. It's starting to fluff up, it goes very quickly this pure my dear. So I'm just going to dip in a few eggs at a time. I'm going to gently turn it. This is faster than what you think you should do. But at the end of the day, we're after a fast cake. Now this cooks in a convection oven. Uh, I usually cook it on about 170, 180. And it takes, depending on the thickness, if I, if I do it in a tray bake, it's going to take me about 15 minutes to cook. Obviously the, the deeper it is, the longer it's going to take. So we keep adding this egg, nice and quick. We're nearly there now. We've probably got five eggs in through that. Five, six, seven, eight. Now they're all in, very quick. And of course, we're all taught to, to do this very slowly, fluffed up, get it really big, everything else. To be honest with you, it doesn't make any difference. This cake is going to be fantastic when it's cooked, and uh, nobody will know the difference. You just need it done quick. So, what we're left with now is our 500 grams of self raising flour, our 250 grams of jumbo raisins and cranberries, and our pumpkin seeds and sesame seeds, uh, 100 grams of them. Seems like a lot. But you want it to be a lot. So if you give it a little spin around. Now the reason why we're doing this is we're coating the raisins and the uh, cranberries and the seeds to make sure that they don't all sink to the bottom. Okay, okay so machine off. We lift it up. I'm going to add now about half of this. Okay. And then on slow, keep it going. That's what I'm going to do, just a little bit, then I'm going to add it again. Because this is the point where the cakes are messed up. You mix this too much now, it's not going to work. So, well, it'll work, but it'll be heavy, no bubbly, no bubbles in it and stuff. So, let's just keep it moving around nice and slow. There we go. And when you start to see it fall together, which is doing, but I've still got flour there on the edges, I'm now going to turn it off. I'm going to take off the whisk, okay, and the bowl. And what I'm going to do now, as you can see, that's what it actually looks like. But I'm going to just scrape the edges and lift them up a bit. Just like that. Just so I'm folding all that in, so I'm not losing too much of the air, basically. Like that. And there we go, that's cake done. Into the tins, into the oven, 15 minutes at 170 to 180. Well done.